Hey everybody, I just wanted to share my home with you and my old school way of decorating for the holidays. So our 12 inches of snow is almost gone. Yay! But we still have some piles. A little windy here today. But I just wanted to share my home with you. And show you that I actually don't have curb appeal so people can't see my house from the road. So I do this for us. When I say us, it's probably just for me. <laughs> it's a little windy, a little chilly, but the sky looks amazing. Look at that gorgeous night sky. It's coming in. So I just wanted to share with you my home. And I want to show you just how I decorate. I'm really an old school type of... Uh, a decorator. Everything I have is from back in the day, from my grandparents. So you come in my house and Christmas begins. And then when you walk in my house, this is what you're greeted with. Isn't that cool? And I have the lights up on the ceiling. Love it. So this is my main entryway and everyone's stocking is hung. And then if you look at that stocking, I don't think Vinny's even noticed that one of the guys were here the other day and they put their name on it and took Vinny's away. Yeah, comical, comical peoples. And then on the stairs are all, well not all, I don't know how many there actually were, but these were the, let's see if we could press one of them. These were all from Hallmark. Aren't these adorable? This one's adorable. Ready? Hold on. And they go all the way. The kids love it when they, they come here and they start pressing them all. I wanted to just do a little Christmas tour of my house. I'm a very old school person. I love the old decorations and Mr. and Mrs. Claus are about 28 years old and my ceramic Christmas tree, gosh, that's about, I think TJ was in nursery school. So since TJ was three, that's 23 years old. Oh my gosh. All right. This is my tree. Isn't that beautiful? It's fake, obviously. I do fake trees because I like to put my tree up the day after Thanksgiving and I just decorate with the empty boxes and then I want to show you a couple of my favorite ornaments that would be my New York Rangers and then a couple of the personalized ornaments there's John and Donna and that's TJ when he was little. And then that's Vinny when he was little. And then, of course, there's a little police officer. And these two ornaments are here are for my mom and my grandma, who are angels in heaven. And then this was my grandma's uh, candy cane. And then... Can't forget that Jesus is the reason for the season. And then I know you've all seen my Frosty making snow. Hee 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 hee. And then I have lots of Disney. Lots of Disney. Um, let me go down here. I don't want to go too fast. But I made that. That's supposed to be John and I in the woods. Isn't that cute? Um, let's see. 
This is supposed to be TJ, Vinny, and I. I love that, that one right there. Then, let's see, Minnie Mouse and Mickey. This here, Santa Claus, used to smell like gingerbread. And then we'll move on. Okay. And now, look at that box. I think a photo album needs to go in that box, a, a mini album. Yep, I think that's going to be my goal. Make a mini album for that. Here's a beautiful flag. This here came from Jen and Brianna. Love that. And then I'm going to move on over. Okay. All right, so this is where my Christmas village is. I wasn't going to put it up this year, but Vinny and Shannon said they wanted to do it. So I gave them full reign. We took all my china out of the cabinets, took the doors off of it, and this is their cute little village. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at him making a snow angel. And this, the little thing of wood. I'm going to fix their deer for them. Then you come up here, and look, Michaels! I've always been a crafter. Look at that. Isn't this adorable? Don't you just want to live in this little town? I do. Of course, we have a police station. And the high school. And then up here, there's another school. A toy tower. A beautiful farmer's market. Cute little light of Christmas trees. And the Pine Valley ta Town Hall. How funny is that? Cute. And of course, the church. And then we're going to move over. And I always have a Jesus on my, uh, oh, Jesus is always in my house. And he talks. Usually the kids talk to Jesus, but. And then there's Goof. Look at Goofy. Love him. Love, love, love him. Then I have this cute little bear who's a cowboy fan. Isn't he cute? Big ceramic bear. And then I have an antique, um, that's an antique crate that men used to put their tools in. And then move on over to this piece. And this is where tradition really starts. TJ actually made me this, he refurbished this for me a few Christmases ago. But that manger is my father's mother's, so my grandmother's manger. That was her manger. Then come down here, and I'm not gonna, this plays music. Ah, oh, Goof got stuck. Let's see if we get Goofy to move. Isn't that cute? Vinny already asked me last night if when I if I could just leave this to him in my will. Oh my god. This is one of my favorite pieces. This was purchased in Sears. This was sixty dollars probably thirty years ago. But one of my favorite, favorite pieces. And then um, one more over here. This is my great grandfather, Vincenzo, and my great grandmother. But then you come over here to this piece, and that manger means the world to me. That was my mother's mother's, that was my grandma's. And I help put that together every year. So I actually have three mangers. I have both of my grandmother's and I have my own, but I don't put mine out. I don't know why. 
And I just, this is just this part of my, I don't know, menagerie. I just keep everything up in there. And I, I don't know if this is still going to play. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? Love things like that. Oh, do you all see what this is? Let's see if I could zoom in. This was made with a 3D printer, and that is an image of my son inside the 3D printer. If you ever seen a picture of Vinny, that looks just like Vinny. <laughs> Small little trivia. Then I have another ceramic tree right there. And then this is the kitchen. I decorate the kitchen with lights. Nothing fancy, just some old school lights. Um, I'll throw on the light. Actually, I woke up this morning and I realized that half my lights were out, so I'm gonna have to fix those. I have the Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And then, ah! Of course, I my kitchen wouldn't be complete or my decorations wouldn't be complete without a red truck and a Santa Claus. That's our advent calendar. I have to fill that still. All right, and then, ready? Look, that's the curtain on my door. Love that. Tex was just outside, looking outside for deer. Little does he know the deer are right there. Then I have a cute little tablecloth right here. Let's see if I can throw the light on. Ta-da! And of course I have the Santas at both ends. And then I just do a cute little bow. I painted that last year at a paint and sip. And then I'm gonna bring you into the hallway. This stays up all year long. The little red truck. That don't belong there. But that's our family by our truck. I know it's not a good video, good thing. Oh, I should have put that on. I made that out of one of the Dollar Tree bags. I think last year. But let me go over here. Look at that. And then these are my new, because we're gonna have the camper done. And the tree. For the rest of the video, there'll just be a couple of snapshots. This is my manger for the kids. They, they're allowed to play with this because they're plastic. And inside that manger, Mittens is sleeping and Tex is watching over her. Then this is Vinny. Shannon's in here too, but you can't see her. They were setting up the Christmas village. Isn't he adorable? And now adorable? this is just a light up Cracker Barrel Santa find. Claus from Cracker Barrel. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Yep, love him. I hope you enjoyed this. From my home to your home, Merry, Merry Christmas. I will see you all real soon. Bye.